Good morning, Shiplake family. It's Miss Knight here from LDEV uh, coming to you with the Thursday thought of the day of the week. Um, today, I'm coming to talk to you about the theme of trying something new for the next year because we're going into 2021, which will hopefully bring um, a brighter year for us all without any lockdowns. Let's Let's keep our fingers crossed. So what will you try in 2021? Hmm. So just talking about reasons for trying something new next year. OK, so you might just discover a new favorite hobby or interest okay, that might really perk up your and, and challenge you. So there's a first time for everything always. So do think, OK, um, I want to try something new uh, next year to, you know, really um, channel my energy into something new. And you could meet so many new people that you might not have spoken to before, haven't spoken to as much. That could be something that you try at school or outside of school. So as well, new experiences will help you to learn about yourself. OK, you'd be able to learn about what really drives you, what motivates you um, and you can find out so much about yourself, how you, uh, how you think, how, you're, 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 how you can channel your energy into your passions, and you might gain a new perspective on something you never considered before, okay? Deep thought, you know, really can help your critical thinking skills as well. And sometimes it's good to be scared of trying something new. Oh, there's no shame in that. It helps us to grow stronger. So opening yourself up to that new opportunity when you're trying something new can really open you up to possibility of success. OK, so you never really know unless you go for it and just try it something. OK, so I'm going to talk to you um, now about things that you might want to try um, next year. So have a good think about them. You might want to learn a new skill like speaking or learning a new language or even baking. And there are really good apps like uh, Duolingo that can really help you with that to, to learn a new language. Um, and be kind to yourself after you've studied hard. That could be something new that you try. Um, just uh, take a breather from studying so hard for exams and just, you know, take a break for, you know, half an hour, an hour to just be kind to yourself and give you that um, sort of mental break and support. Um, you might want to try driving if you're uh, coming up to 17, you might be excited about that. Um, six formers I know that I've, um, that I've seen around school really excited to start driving. Um, and you might even want to learn a new instrument. So uh, you might want to learn the guitar, good choice. Or, or the drums, um, or something completely new, um, which we could always help you um, towards uh, at Ship Lake College. We've got a fantastic music department here. Okay, you might even be thinking, okay, maybe if I try a new lifestyle next year, um, you might want to think about eating less meat, maybe, because veganism is becoming more popular, plant-based diet, very popular indeed. Um, and according to a survey, so over 2% of Brits are currently vegan. So that's over a million people, which is expected to double at the end of this year. So that's a lot of people sort of changing their um, dietary habits. Um, you could even be a, a flexitarian, uh, which involves uh, well, just having like half vegetarian diet. So where you eat plant based food um, and occasionally eat meat. So that's a new uh, term coming in this year. You might want to try uh, a new sport or fitness activity. So will sport be back to normal in 2021? Who knows? Um, hopefully we'll all be able to uh, watch or spectate uh, at live sport events. Um, uh, soon, hopefully in the near future, um, um, which will be very good. But hopefully we can practice uh, some sports um, as well. So trying a new sport or fitness activity keeps your mind and body active, like uh, yoga and Pilates um, are quite good for mindfulness. So it helps you sort of wind down after a long, uh, stressful day or long um, day of revising or studying. So um, you know, taking up like uh, an activity like that might be really might be beneficial. And don't forget, 
sports and fitness activities are sociable and fun and you get to meet new people um, which is a really good incentive for trying out a uh, new activity um, for sports. Okay, you might even want to try a new co-curricular activity, okay, on a Tuesday or Thursday or another day that you might um, have activities uh, on a, in an afternoon. So a good thing um, about trying a new activity is you can build friendships with those people in your year that you might not speak to as much. Um, you might even develop good study habits if you're doing prep as well, for example, um, and you can work with your peers to um, solve uh, something that you might be finding quite tricky. Um, trying a new activity might be quite challenging and fun um, and really sort of make you think quite hard, okay, you know, is this for me or I'm really enjoying this so I think I'm going to keep going with this next year, which is a good attitude to have. You might find a passion for a new hobby that's to do with, um, with, with an activity, whether that be a sport, music, art, uh, drama. Um, so do uh, think about how you can um, go into a new um, activity. So you might even want to practice a passion that you already have as well. So, for example, if you um, enjoy music, then you might want to um, do one of the music based activities uh, in uh, activities to really further your passions there. Oh, speaking of music, um, you might even think about joining a new, brand new activity called uh, the School of Rock if you're in the sixth form. Um, and in that club after or activity um, in the new year, we'll be learning uh, rock songs, pop songs, any songs that you might really want to learn um, uh, and play potentially in a uh, recital or performance. Um, and that's really open to those who play an instrument in the sixth form, primarily keeping COVID safe in the bubbles. So that will be with me, Miss Knight, if you choose to do that. Let me know, email me today, or um, when you get a chance, uh, definitely yeah, by today. Um, so yeah, do think about trying a new co-curricular activity. So that's all from me, and I hope that my talk has inspired you to uh, try something new next year. But for now, have a great day and enjoy the last week of term next week. And I'll see you, uh, well, either next week or in the new year. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day.